Hi, my name is Christian from Solatech Solutions and in this demonstration video I'm going to show you how to import a DWG file and use that as your title block in SolidWorks Electrical. We start off by clicking on library at the top of our screen, left click on title block manager and click import DWG files. As the tooltip says, you can also import DXF files. Left clicking and simply left click to add files. For this demo I will use a AutoCAD electrical DWG file. Click next. Over here we can select the import configuration. Um, you can see over here that SolidWorks Electrical has AutoCAD electrical automatically selected. We can also use Electrical Designer or Trace Elect Pro. If your program is not in here, don't worry, you can simply select no configuration and save your configuration at the end of this wizard. I'm going to simply go ahead and click next. Now it will ask us um, to use or to select a class. Always select a class or I always do. Um, so I can simply, it's easier to find. So I'm going to use an A3 size here. So next time when I want to create a new template with an A3 size, my template here or my DWG file should show up. Okay, over here, SolidWorks Electrical automatically looks if there are attributes, if it has attributes or the DWG file has attributes that it can use and will change that automatically with SolidWorks Electrical attributes. If it cannot find any attributes, your list will be empty over here. Um, so we will manually add attributes. Now I'll get back to the attributes a bit later and why we want to use them. I'm not going to save my import configuration. So simply click no save. And that's all it works import the DWG file. Once that's imported we can right click on here and select properties and we can add um, a description. So let's call this imported DWG A3. Simply click OK and that will now show up with the proper description or the name. Double click on our file to add it. First I'm going to remove all the content on the drawing by window selecting and hitting the delete key on the keyboard. Next, I will clean up this title block. And as you can see, it's still one whole block. So we simply need to go to others on our toolbar, left click on explode. And now this one block became several different entities. Just let's remove this logo over here. Um, we can place our own logo in there, or we can simply use attributes from, Sol from SolidWorks Electrical and make this title block intelligent. And by intelligent, I mean we can map customer data or certain properties and that automatically display once um, we create a new schematic um, in SolidWorks Electrical. So let's go ahead and um, have a look here on the left hand side. We can see that there are all my different attributes are here. These ones are project related. We've got them as a book, folder or location. Um, all these different attributes we can use. Before I do that, I'm going to right click here on snap down at the bottom and I'm going to set up my snap and grid spacing just to be sure and turn the snap on as well. Now once that's done, I'm simply going to add customer name, address, and the last address line. Here we go. Once we've placed them, window select them all, rotate, just maybe rotate them up 90 degrees, simply select them again, move, and let's move that to our title block over there. As you can see, it's pretty similar to the SolidWorks um, mapping of um, the sheet format, and so we just add different properties here and they will be automatically mapped.